G'day. Uh, today I want to revisit Los Angeles again, uh, just to see if I can build, beat this score. If you have a look on the, the charts, I'm sitting at 3,700, which really suggests that there's a lot of room to grow still in this one. Uh, and for that reason, I do want to have another look at it, see if there's anything else that I can, uh, can do to really hit those big numbers. Now, obviously, the one way that I, I could hit big numbers that, that people do suggest is doing blocking, um, which isn't a way that I've, I've played to this point. I generally just sort of, obviously, I block where my, my roads go, and sometimes I might sort of predict a small patch of road I just want reserved for a future road. Um, but I generally don't intentionally block to reduce the amount of warehouses coming in. It is certainly something that I'll have to try at some point. Let's um let's try and just get these guys separated already. Houses can't directly attach to the start of a bridge, which is why I've got them just sort of hooking down like this. Um, what I'm going to do too is just flip this bridge around. This guy gets home. There's definitely a bit more of a spaced out level uh, than any of the other ones. If you do sort of find yourself having trouble with this game, I wouldn't recommend moving beyond this level till you've got it. Um, I think that it is the one that is, is going to be far easier uh, than any of the others. Maybe Manila, maybe Rio de Janeiro, but I do think that this one is the, uh, the easiest one. Okay, now we've got that next bridge, what we're going to do, we'll send, keep these guys where they were, and we'll send these guys, like run around, just to keep the line separated. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. And he's a little bit more workable, this guy. But and the location of those two houses is also so separate that that guy could cause us problems unless we get some more blue houses uh, in a much more ideal location. Speed this up, didn't I? Yeah. Certainly, some of these levels feel like they are. They take a lot longer to take off than others. I'll take the roundabout and we'll pause for a second. <clears throat> Alright, what we'll do is we will give. Let's go out of that road. And then these two guys can take care of him, and I'd say he's probably taken care of for the game now. We hopefully should never have to think about that warehouse again.
Now, quite possibly the solution here is going to be this guy gets a motorway. Now, this guy here doesn't need four houses to look after him. So if more houses end up showing up in this area, then we can give a motorway from here to him, or we can just give another location um, of reds down to this guy. It does still mean that this guy's only left with uh, the one house connected to him. But as long as he doesn't go cylinder, uh, skyscraper, we are we're hopefully going to be okay with that. Same as this guy. Basically, as these guys get home, they have to turn around and come straight back because he's basically holding one order more than what they can handle. Alright, we'll take the bridge. It's probably about as many bridges as I imagine we'd need, so unless we've got need to cross the San Gabriel River. I have been to Los Angeles a few times, but I could not tell you the uh, sort of geography of it overly well. I don't know where Griffith Observatory is, and which would be what sort of up here. And then you've got uh, the Gettys over here, and or are we or are we way too zoomed in, and they're all the way up the top here. Certainly very far removed for We're definitely in motorway territory now. Very much so for green. I'm gonna wait till the end of this Sunday before I try and figure out this green problem. Cool. Now we do have this guy up here that could just connect and, and be sort of problem solved, but we will We'll take the, the three guys, because I imagine that no matter what, if these guys here will need to operate in some capacity to a warehouse fire motorway. We're just reserving that motorway for them. We draw a line to connect him there, but we won't worry for now. <clears throat> We will just jolt this around a little bit because we finally do have a second house to look after him. We'll shift these guys just slightly. I don't like that you did that to me. do with these guys I suppose and with these guys because how much already we got 38 because we've got these guys we can sort of swing this around here disconnect that let him just connect by himself have these guys connect down here gives him four houses um we can even give him the roundabout for now And it means that even though this guy is still operating on one house, he hopefully can um, can do it a little bit smoother. Now there's no one else on the road. Let's move this just so we can have a better eye on this guy. Could use this motorway. Shift him that way. Oh, we can get him there. So we've got three and three. Could use this motorway to connect these guys to here and allow that guy to cross this road without having to interrupt yellow. We've 
got so many houses up there. What we might do is connect him that way. Cool. Um, I mean, weird location for that greenhouse, but these guys just take advantage. Now, part of the design here is we don't want a four-way intersection if we can avoid it. So you can see that all of these are three-way intersections because if generally the guys will just slow if they go into a four-way intersection. So what we're attempting to do is just remove them completely. I could chuck a roundabout in here just to clean that up a little bit, but I mean they're only looking after one one house. There's way too many houses for this one guy, so it's, it's probably not going to come up as an issue. What we'll, we'll do though is we will just get these guys around to divide them up, so we're actually getting more use out of this roundabout. Given that guy, we can give him his own individual one. Really because not many of these guys have become circular, but we don't need to, to stress too much about them. It's kind of why I'm holding on to that roundabout. I don't think that anyone else um, is an overly urgent need. Hanging out for a duck. Oh, that's a, that's a nice connection there. Now, there's the green guys connecting on this side of that intersection. I wonder if I should just let these guys have a smoother route in. I don't think there's any benefit to having him go to the other side. It's for the sake of that. Just leave him connecting on that one side and, keep, and see how, um, how he fares. And we could also turn around, say, this guy and have him run straight up there. And then give these guys to this, but that would be a long trip. Or would it be a worthwhile trip? Alright, cool. That's a, an easy one to manage. So what we'll do is... These three houses to him. Maybe we'll stop that being a four-way intersection since we can avoid it. All right. Well, since green is now taking care of that, so we got that. We got two motorways. So before this gets any worse. Find somewhere we can put a roundabout. Put it here. So we'll go one. Firstly, let's get these two guys connected. Three. I'll leave those two guys running this route. Oh, is that going to make it more possibly congestion? Yeah. It's, um, I don't think I can sneak him past without connecting. But I'll let him just sort of have to pass through that just in case. He, he's obviously going to be the emergency person heading out that way. But um, so he shouldn't cross that unless it's, it's super important. And that's only a square guy, so he shouldn't matter too much either. Then he won't, he sort of won't have too much traffic flowing down. Okay, so now we've got. All our cars going in. We'll let that sort of extend out a little bit further. But it's pointing in the direction of where this has to go. Let these guys just take care of that. Until we can come up with something better. Man, <laughs> like him. If he gets two more friends, maybe. Maybe we do this sort of connection for this red neighborhood up here. We let him have the, the road down. Now that does allow us to sneak this guy through. 
And finally, he can uh, give this guy a hand. Give someone else to, to this side. In fact, there's no reason why we can't give this guy the absolute closest one we've got. We'll just try and shorten up the routes of these guys. relatively early days here but it's not it doesn't feel overly aggressive the, the layout so we've got these two guys here three good basically we want to try and set this up in a way that they are community and they are facing the right direction we are about to have to call them in I'd say what we'll do is we'll just give them an extra connection on there as opposed to disconnecting these two guys. We'll connect this little neighborhood up here. Take another motorway. Alright. <clears throat> so we have four houses looking after this guy. These three houses here can probably look after him. So we will take these three houses. Give them a sort of extended connection and then run them up that way. I'll connect both of these two to that because they're closer. And since he is a cylinder, sorry, I keep calling him a cylinder. It's either a skyscraper or a circle is probably what I normally call him. Since he's a skyscraper, um, we'll give him that extra one. We could probably give him this guy too. But it's currently one, two, three, four, five to four, three to four. So we'll, we'll leave that as the split for now. Now you can see as well that these guys have really helped out here and that there's not much going on. So they're all just sitting in their car parks. Um, uh, one question that you might have about the way that a um, a neighborhood may operate. The, the logic will be, a job comes up, the closest car will, will take on that order. Now, that guy's gone. That guy's gone circular as well. So we do want to address him. So let me come back to that. So what we want to do is probably get these guys here to take care of him because there's more of them. And we'll get these three to, to move over to this guy. Really not a fan of that position. I've got motorways though. No, I don't. I've just used my motorways. No, I do. I have this motorway coming back to me. So let's pause for a second. Think about this one. So we've got these two houses here, but to get to him, yeah, okay. There's no way that these guys can get past him. These two guys up here could. So, I mean, we can shift these guys across this way. And then we can ask these two guys here to take on that. And in fact, what we can do is get these guys to connect like that. Get at least five, we can give three to him. I'm just waiting for this bridge to, to disappear. So 
once it does, we obviously still need to address this guy. That bridge is sticking around. It is not moving quick here. Thank you. Okay. So we'll make a connection here. Send that down that way. And what we will do is just to give them a little bit of assistance. We'll connect that. Now, it shouldn't be very often that these guys do need help, but if they do, they've got this connection. So, like I was saying before, the closest houses will take on the closest work, but if a job at a further... So, you'll notice that, say, this house will always do the work for here if there's a car available, and slowly this job can come up. If a car's not home, a further and further one will take on the job. So, since these guys are traveling so far, it, those jobs will go f further and further back. So sometimes there's definitely negatives to having too many houses connected to a um to a setup because you you actually would be better off waiting for that really close guy to just get home and then turn around and head back than waiting for a guy traveling across the map and particularly it's a good reason for why you wouldn't um you wouldn't use that in a sort of like you wouldn't want all your roads connected because they a guy on the far side of the map might suddenly hear the call of of a problem very far away from him and, uh, and you're going to be sort of not only basically going to risk failing because those jobs just aren't getting there, but he's going to be causing traffic all the way down the road system as he passes through all these places that he, he normally shouldn't be. So keeping your, your roads isolated like what I've got here does seem to be a much more efficient way of, of managing your, your road network. Okay. So what we'll do is... It would be good to use some of the reds that we're we're getting up over here uh, to take care of this one down here. But obviously at the moment we don't have the motorways to do it. So what we'll do is we'll just connect him there and let them just take on that little bit extra work. Because he's only a, a square one, hopefully it shouldn't be too demanding for them. So it is a good indication of if you're not sure if, if you've got enough houses connected to a job. So for example, you can see that if we look at this guy, we can say, all right, well, are there enough houses connected? And the answer is no, because there's no cars at all sitting at home, which means that there are more jobs than there are houses. Now, because we've just got these three guys connected here, um, what we could do is shift these guys to go look after, go help out here. And that's what we'll do. Is I think that these three can handle that. And it means that the role that these guys are going to play is just support. So that, that if this is overflowing, they'll swing in and help. Okay. Now, we've got another motorway. So, connect these three guys together. Alright. So that claimed my motorway. Um these guys use so but now I've got it back Put that there keep doing that Try to click on it proper there we go now that's a really far distance that I'm making these guys travel so it's not great um but it's better than congestion and the fact that they've got four houses now just make that a much more sort of comfortable notion. Essentially, as long as that doesn't go circular. Okay, now these guys here are functioning, looking after two separate setups. Uh, they're looking after this guy here in support of these two houses, and they're also looking after this guy over here. Now what we're going to do is ask them to look after this. And we can have a look at the back here and we can see that there are cars sitting in these two. Those two houses that aren't being used at all. So we can just go, all right, cool. They don't probably need those, those houses there. There's enough houses on this side too to say that this guy doesn't really need to be supporting this. So we'll shift him over to just help out here where we've just pulled three houses away. Now... The problem with this is that these guys are now helping out over here too, which is what we don't want. We don't want them adding congestion heading north to look after stuff. We actually want them just taking care of this. So even though it seems like you're risking um, more by, by not having as many guys efficiently connected, 
it, what we're actually doing is we're trying to um, clean it up by not having so many cars sort of confused about where they should be going. Another thing I would like to do at this point is clear out, uh, move this forward to about here so that this blue guy doesn't have to cross this road to, to come and help out. But I don't have the option because I don't have the, the available road. Uh, I don't have the available motorway. And to, to move that on a circular one could be a real danger. So we're not going to move him at this stage. We're just going to cope with the idea that um, they're going to cross. And what I'm going to do is sorry, I'm gonna disconnect that because that was an accident. Uh, what I'm going to do is give them a traffic light and force these these guys here to, to wait. You can see even in that brief moment I had this connected, one yellow go snuck in from over here to come look after this. And we don't want that. Because he's just going to cause that congestion if, if they continue to do that in sort of large scale. Sometimes if you've got everything connected, you might not realize that a guy is really trying to help you out by, uh, by traveling the map. Yeah, we've, we've got some really nice sort of positioned houses down here or yellow and we do have the bridges to use to connect them but what i want to do is get rid of red having to rely on this so what we want to do is they basically have red connect down here and then just fly and connect to this guy with a motorway that's what we're waiting for at the moment motorway to, to make that connection now do we see any reason why this guy is there that is the problem I've created. So the only reason this has now become inefficient is because when I was attempting to build that motorway before, I accidentally dragged across the map and I connected these two roads. And so there's actually nothing wrong with the setup. All it is is that there's congestion because those guys are now intermingling. One of the really annoying things that you can accidentally do. Okay, great. So motorway, pause. Get rid of this road. And then right away from there to here. These guys, we don't even have to build a bridge anymore. Just get them to come straight across. Now, this guy looks like he does have room to, to connect in here as well. So it gives us an extra house to look out after over here. Now, this is where this becomes a problem. And this is what we need to address. So I've just added all of these houses here to help out with this guy. The problem is that this is also means that they can take this highway into this town, into this roundabout, come down here, take this highway and help out there. And that is why you want to keep your road separated because that is a problem. So what we're going to have to do is now cut off these guys. We can get rid of that. So thank you for your service, Yellow. Um, you're no longer looking after him. These close houses are. And basically cut them off because we don't um because that guy's going to get much worse for that misunderstanding of, of what helping is so it does mean that we've got another motorway back in a moment once that covers it does mean we're going to have a lot of yellow houses that i don't know what, what they're doing so what we're going to do is um try and connect a few more greenhouses here so green is struggling at the moment, and that's probably just to do with the journey. Same goes for red. In this case, you can see there's just a bit of congestion here, but that's alright. They'll figure that out, and once they start to move, they'll um, it'll be a lot cleaner. Now, these guys are only are only helping down here, so I don't think that this red guy passing through that roundabout is actually going to cause them too much grief. These guys we don't need connected there. Let's see if we can swing them up the river. Get them connected here too. There'll be a way we can swing that. We'll probably be having to move this this somehow, but we don't much have the ability to do it. We do have 58 squares though, so we could try and go on the opposite way. But what we've got a lot of is squares and bridges, so we can waste. So we can even shorten that. We can waste another bridge. All the way down. Let them try and help out too. Now what's great is that because this just sort of licked 
land just here. That guy can help as well. That's just six extra cars just quickly on the way to, to try and help out. Because with this red guy, it, it's not congestion that is a problem, it's just numbers. There's only five houses looking after him from across the map. Now you can see that the congestion that hits as they all come in is a bit busy there, but that is fine. It's just worse because there were three houses that just suddenly injected themselves into that situation. Just keeping an eye on this guy too. He is, he is right on the cusp of needing a bit more assistance. Do I have a motorway? I do. Now what we want is a couple of houses that aren't indebted to another warehouse. So because these guys are all seeing this, they're going to be a problem. So what I think we want to do is just connect, just make another group of guys that their role isn't sort of help out here anymore. That's going to be the role of, of these guys back here. We'll let him stay there. We'll just take these four houses. I won't even go these five. And this highway will come down here. And that'll make that a four-way intersection. That's all right. So they're going to be just that extra help. Now again, you can see that this is going to create a, a bit of congestion initially, but the, the name of the game for this is survival. That basically we're just injecting eight guys to come in. It's going to make a lot of congestion at that, um, that intersection just there. What we might do is just get the guy to connect back there. So it's now three, two T intersections as opposed to, to a major intersection. Hopefully, as that cleans itself up a bit, they will um, look a little bit better. Now, we'll get the roundabout. That guy's not too happy either, so we'll send him that way. And what we'll do is we'll just see if we can put a roundabout in somewhere that might benefit from it. So we'll put it in there. Let these guys connect in just a few different ways to so that will hopefully make that a little bit more efficient. Now this blue guy here is not overly happy. He's in a permanent state of, of being completely sold on his, his output. This guy you can see is still majorly congested. But again, it's just so many cars that are just right there ready to help that sort of a, it's keeping him afloat in a really weird ugly way but he, it is keeping him afloat and if we could pull um, the extra houses off him we definitely would but at the moment I'm not convinced that it's for the better now this guy is, is slowly collapsing on us so what we'll do is we'll flip around these two houses here that, that aren't doing anything north hopefully they'll get to him in time really tight but it looks like they might sort him out a little bit he'd be a really nice guy to include so we'll just let him join across there get the roundabout the yellow is continuing to be just not a mess for us down here and We've made him now have a problem that we've pulled houses off him, but we can. This guy's just been sitting there doing nothing. He's just been hidden. Let's um get him connected. We do need to think about because this looks like it's going to be a long-term situation. What we've got going on down here. There is there a way that we can try and fix it up? There, so hopefully he helps with this.
These guys are still moving through. This is been rocky for a very long time now. This guy is, is not looking great either, but I'm not quite sure what his, his issue is. Again, it could be roundabout related, but I can't fit a roundabout in there anywhere to try and address it. Um, what I could try and do is rebuild the neighborhood, but there's nowhere anywhere in here that I can put a roundabout that I could even sort of turn all these guys to face there, but I mean, that's sort of out of the range of them. There's a lot that's... but I don't quite get why he's such a problem and how many houses he has exclusively for him. Okay, let's get this guy connected here. Now, the other thing is that these two houses here aren't doing anything. We've got a lot of houses connected to this guy that are a lot closer. And in fact, there's so many houses up here now, we don't need this, this highway. We should look at, at re-using uh, that elsewhere too. But I would say that, that potentially the extra houses here means that we can probably disconnect this highway. And then relief, relief, release that congestion. So we're going to pull that the plug on that now. See if that helps. Uh, and we will shift another guy over here because he's getting in trouble. But you can see that there's just so many cars in here that that's just going to be congestion for, for a while. So... Now, possibly this this house here is also creating some congestion for this. So as we um, as we remove those guys out, this row of guys should just hopefully a bit more smoothly move in and clean him up. And this is one of the questions of if you ever wonder why it's better off having fewer houses connected than more, quite potentially these guys will um will answer that question with how smoothly they might come back to clean this up. But again, just once they start to get in their rhythm. Um, see that they're moving a lot better and hopefully he's addressing that. We do have a roundabout which we, uh, against the wall there so we can't chuck it in there. This guy here is still my, my problem child and again I can't offer him a roundabout either. I can't get this guy connected to here who also might might need the assistance. Okay, take the roundabout. Let's just consider. Now, this guy here, again, I think that his biggest problem is going to be potentially guys coming both ways. So we're going to get rid of Highway 1 for him. And since we've got the majority of these guys not connected, um, let's see, actually, can I fit a roundabout anywhere down here? No get up there, but it's not really going to help. What I might be better off doing is connecting a motorway for these guys. There. And send it straight up there. Once they're using it, we're going to remove this road. So what we want is basically just a little bit more efficiency for what they're doing. That does mean too that we can run these guys across here. And again, like many of my other ones, this is going to be a lot worse before it gets better as they, they sort of suddenly all surge out of their homes to, to take care of that. Uh, we do have a few... got this guy right here, so we'll see if he can help out with this yellow that's not looking great. Get him connected. Now... This guy here, I think, is now is is potentially a problem for helping him out. I think he's going to be traveling too far. We have yellow problems all over the place. Now, do we have a yellow neighborhood? Because I think I've got a motorway. We have a yellow neighborhood that can look after this guy. I think that his his setup is is failing on us. A couple of guys up here that are, that are not doing anything. Apart from that, they are all really in use. Let's just build an outcrop there. He's not connected to that, so let's get him on there. 
these guys here, they're the ones that I, I moved previously. So we can connect them to here and we'll run them down to here. And so basically this is just going to be a quick surge assist. And down, I'm going to see if they can help. I'm going to get this guy to switch back around and help out over here. And we'll let this guy and this guy connect too. This guy here is still an absolute headache. I mean, we can try and clean up some of his roads by letting them go through a roundabout up here. Another motorway. Now, what I will do with this extra motorway, so who was looking after him motorway-wise? It's just these five guys up here. Now, this is a long journey that these guys are having to take, but I don't think that either of these two neighborhoods are big enough to just support this guy on their own. Let's give him, you know, consider again if he's worth connecting somewhere. But we'll check a motorway, motorway eight can go from there to there. Flip him around too. Now again, potentially just having two motorways connected to this is is fatal for these guys that are not helping, it's it's hindering. Again, we'll just leave these guys to suddenly surge assist that, and then we'll see how they are, how they look. What we'll do as well is we might shift this guy across and we'll just extend that out so it's not a four-way intersection. This guy is our golden child, but around about here would be good. I'm, I'm still not convinced that a, a set of lights would help there, which is why I'm still holding on my lights. Um, you know, sort of ebbing and flowing between being red and, and being okay. It sort of goes for everyone except for this green guy. The green guy is just permanently in a state of unhappiness. But what can we do for him? Now, is there enough room up here that we can put a roundabout in? There is. What it would sacrifice is that we would have to have... Um, I mean, these houses aren't being used anyway. Got an extra extra one, so let's, let's try and see if we can do this. So let's move these guys across to that one. We're going to disconnect those two houses that currently aren't doing anything. Connect him there, and we're going to connect... Disconnect that. And... I don't much like that one, but I think they're the two spots that we've got available. If I can just move one. Now that's connecting him to that one as well. There's only the one spot I can connect anything to there, I guess. All we can do is connect one through a red house. That red house isn't doing anything, so he's just going to sort of the owner of that road. So, with this second connection, now, unbelievably, all of these greenhouses are actually out to work at the moment. So, we're going to take these five houses here. Did I just get a motorway? I go crazy. Let's reconnect them for now because. Maybe I was on a misunderstanding that I had an extra motorway when I don't. Just keep an eye down here, because sometimes I move so slowly I forget that I've, I'm still waiting for it to be returned to me. That doesn't seem to be the case, so what we'll do is we'll take Highway 9. And actually, what we'll do is we'll firstly rebuild these guys. Don't make them go into a crazy intersection. Is that bad? It seems bad. Fine. They're probably almost as off as well as they were. Um, I actually think that they could connect across the bottom there, so we'll put them up to the top. And what we'll do is we'll wait for that road to disappear. 
which is going to be too long, I think, for, for any actual use. And what we want to do is connect that through there, but I don't think we can at the moment because of where that highway was sitting. So what we'll do is we'll take Highway 9 and connect it there. And that hopefully will mean that this guy's got support while we're making this sudden, this quick shift. Get rid of that. There's a lot of slow traffic moving through here. Part it's going to be because of where these roads are looking. So this, because it was a four-way intersection because of this guy, they would have been slowing down there. So hopefully now that we've corrected that, they'll, they'll speed up again and, and correct this mistake. Okay. So now that that's connected there, we will get rid of that connection and have that connect like that. So we've now got two separate motorways taking care of that. And hopefully that helps those green guys out who are going to be struggling. Now this green up here isn't looking too great either. <clears throat> he is our one double warehouse that we've got here. This yellow here is a, is a current problem that's just suddenly sprung up. Um, let's get this, get this yellow guy attached. Uh, and we've got five bridges, so let's, let's get him closer. Get him attached just there. Now, it, it's not necessarily to do with, um, the access to, to houses here. You can just see it's purely, this, this car park is not a mess down here. So all they're doing is just sort of delaying the inevitable at this point, I would say. You can see how nicely, um, the roundabout, see how nicely these guys have cleaned this up. At least, so we can at least claim that victory before this crashes and burns on us. Let's have a look at who else is now potentially causing us a problem. Now, we'll give this red guy over here. This guy's triumphantly been working with just three this whole time. I'd say there's enough guys up here that, um, he can have the extra help. This red guy here is about to die on us. Uh, let's turn him around. Possibly at some point I stole houses off this guy for, for this setup here. So let's um, swing them back around, but it might be just seconds too late. Oh, that is a... That was a real tight get out of jail there. <laughs> Okay, so now who's our new problem? Just keep an eye on to make sure that pulling these guys off here isn't cause them a, a catastrophic issue. It doesn't look like it. But this is gridlock. Absolute gridlock here. And that's going to sink us. But there we go. Another year of Los Angeles. Another bump up uh, to the score. We'll have a look to see how that looks in the in the ratings. I'd imagine this one's yeah, 731. Not too bad. So still room for improvement. So I will come back to this again at some point, I'd say. Um, there we go. Till next time. I'll catch you later. See ya.